Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for January 18th, 2018. Thank you very much for joining me. So we're looking at the energies that surround us at this time and what we need to know about the energies in order to use them for our highest good. And as always, keep an open mind. These energies will play out very different ways for everyone. So just take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it helps with what you're dealing with. Right, so first of all, we have a lot of swords in the cards, or mostly swords, really, a lot of um, air energy. And we have the walrus again, um, and I think that's significant because we're talking about signs and omens, and so this pops up again. I think that it's significant and we should pay attention to it. So just a few uh, words before we go through each of the cards. With this many swords in a reading, um, on the one hand, it tells me that there's going to be a lot of mental activity going on for us, okay, at least in, in the next um, 24 hours, 48 hours, that sort of thing. This is a lot of thinking, this is planning, this is getting organized, this is getting focused. Um, it is also a reminder for us not to let our thoughts control us. We control the thoughts, so the thoughts shouldn't have to control us, um, especially um, doubts and fears and what ifs and stuff like that thoughts like that um, so it's a reminder whatever negative thought comes into our minds we can see it and we can choose to turn it into a positive or we can choose to uh, see through it see see it for what it is In most cases self-doubt and um, anxiety or stress or just over worrying okay and we can choose um, if we want to let that particular thought color uh, what we see and how we feel throughout the day. Um, also, we could be looking at very important messages coming forward, okay, very important communication um, having place um, during this time. And again, a reminder for us that we are communicating um, with the universe with our guides with our angels all the time but during this time it may be particularly important for us to make extra time um, to to focus on giving gratitude uh, to focus on um, manifestation in other words to visualize what we want to see happen um, as opposed to what we may be afraid um, of or what we don't want to see happen okay so just uh, keep that in mind so, the first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords talks about a couple of different things, okay? On the one hand, it talks about a time of stress, a time of anxiety, a time of not knowing what tomorrow will bring, but fearing the change or fearing what we don't know. Um, the Nine of Swords can also talk about a time in our lives where things were changing, and we weren't sure why that was happening or what we're supposed to do with it or where it will take us. So that created a lot of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights even. Um, for others, this talks about a lot of hard work and sacrifice that has gone into um, something that we were very focused on. Now that could be a job, it could be searching for a job, it could be working multiple jobs, it could be a relationship that had us worried and we were doing our best with it, it could be um, just having to trust in general that things are going to work out for the best or having to trust that um, a child is going to be okay or having to trust that a loved one um, will be okay even if we're not there to take care of them. Um, and allowing things to, to take their course, okay, also comes up with the Nine of Swords and it caused a lot of anxiety and worry, um, insomnia, um, irregular sleep patterns, any other stress-related um, issues, okay, with, with um, this energy as well. With the Nine of Swords, okay, the message is what we're imagining will happen is not really as bad as we think it is. Okay, but because we're so tired, because we're, we are completely exhausted, or because we are focusing too much on the, the energy of anxiety, and we're letting that get in under um, our skin, letting fear get under our skin, um, we may see things a lot more difficult, more challenging, or more negative 
than what they actually are, okay? Um, and so again, it's just a reminder to try to stay grounded and to take things one, one, one at a time um, and to take things for what they are as opposed to worrying about what they might be. In today's energy, we do have the Justice card. So with the Justice card in today's energy, this is karmic energy, okay? This is very much the hand of fate. We could see divine intervention happening with this energy. We could see meant to be energy uh, coming to pass, okay, with the Justice card. Um, on the one hand, I feel that it's coming forward as getting what we deserve after a time of stress, after a time of sacrifice, after a time of intense work, after a time um, when we were struggling and it caused anxiety, but we tried to keep going, we tried to stay positive, okay? <clears throat> and the Justice card comes in to say there is some sort of reward that's coming for us today. Um, whether it's good news or an, an offer or a proposal of some sort or getting the news we were hoping for uh, or surprise invitations or surprise opportunities, okay, just stay open. Definitely with this energy, once again, pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities, and maybe that's why the walrus is with us today once again. Um, and do what is right, okay, that's what the Justice card is. There may be... A situation happening where we have the opportunity to get ahead but that would be to the detriment of other people and it would be a situation where if we were to accept it we would knowingly directly hurt other people okay it's not one of one of, it's not a situation where you know there's a job offer and we're the best candidate and so it's offered to us and that's how we hurt the other people that's not intentional that's just what is decided um, and you know how trained we are qualified experienced how well we do in our interview and so on and so forth it's a situation where for example you find uh, you see someone dropping some money and instead of uh, giving it back to them um, we pick it up and we put it in our, po our pockets or something like that okay so it can be something small like that or it could be um, bigger than that, okay? The, the message, the bottom line is pay attention to the situations that are offered to you today um, and make sure as much as you can, obviously we can't know everything and we can't control everything, but in as much as we can, we are supposed to just ask questions and make sure that it is a legal situation, that is, it's, a, it's an ethical um, proposal that is happening there um, and that someone is being fair when talking to us or offering us whatever the situation may be. Um, there may be temptation to take the shortcut today in whichever way that applies. And it's perfectly understandable because we're coming out of a time of stress, anxiety. We may still be dealing with this energy and so we get the opportunity to cut some corners today. But the message is do the right thing and then you will receive your right reward, okay, so to speak. Um, and then the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, into the future, we have the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Swords, this is, for some, it talks about going within and trying to, for some it's coming up as trying to quiet the mind and focus more on using our intuition and focus more on our faith. The Two of Swords talks about taking a step back from what everyone else is telling us and taking a step back from um, social media or taking a step back from listening to everyone and what they have to think, oh, sorry, what they have to say um, regarding what we are experiencing or what we should do or what we shouldn't do. The Two of Swords just says, okay, stop, enough is enough. This is my issue or this is my goal or this is my uh, whatever. Um, I will make up my own mind. I will figure it out on my own. I will um, be okay on my own. I will process it for myself. I will draw my own conclusions, okay? Because I feel that with the Nine of Swords, it's also because we were listening to a lot of different people and what they say and what they think and what they think we should do and what they think we should say and so on and so forth. And that just added to the stress. So the Justice card brings some sort of revelation of what the right thing to do is for ourselves and how we can just 
um, help ourselves, okay, in, in the right way, okay, in the ethical way. And it may lead to taking a step back from listening to everyone else and just starting to listen to ourselves and listen to our intuition, listen to our guides and to trust more, okay? That's what the Two of Swords comes up as. It doesn't usually show up <laughs> like this, but this is what I'm picking up on it um, in this reading. It shows up as, I will not listen to what other people are telling me. I will not go by what I see or what other people are showing me. I will cut that out and listen to my intuition and trust my guides. Okay, you see, you have the birds in the sky. Those are messages and there's a lot of them. We're always guided. We always receive uh, signs, symbols, information for our highest good. It's just up to us to trust it, to embrace it, and then to act accordingly. Okay, and I feel like that's where we're headed with this Two of Swords. So our guidance card, we have the Walrus. So again, remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. So again, an energy that talks about choices and an energy that talks about taking into account signs, symbols, our intuition um, when making our choices so that we do the right thing, okay? So that we don't take shortcuts, so that we don't cut corners, so that we don't um, sabotage ourselves in any way, really, okay? Thinking in perspective, thinking about the bigger picture, thinking about um, what we really wanna do, what we're willing to do for that, what we're willing to sacrifice, and the consequences that we're prepared to, to handle, okay, for our choices. Um, being vigilant, Okay, you see the Justice card in this deck um, does not have a blindfold on. She sees everything and she takes everything into account before making her decision and she uses um, her wisdom for that. Okay, the beautiful owl there. And that's our energy for today and that's our guidance for today. Um, our power thought, we have, I can release the past and forgive everyone. And the message is, I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. So with all these swords, yes, we can absolutely be looking at cutting things or people out of our lives that have not been serving us or that have just um, turned into a burden or um, have made our hearts heavy, okay, in one way or another. Um, doing the right thing, to tie, it when, uh, to tie it in with the energy of this card can also indicate forgiving someone or us asking for forgiveness or us making amends, okay? Um, although it feels more like, well, feels kind of the both, both situations are possible. But either way, if there's a situation that where we did something or said something and then we feel guilty and we've been feeling guilty and remorseful over it, the Justice card today says, make it right. Okay, make it right. And anticipate, you know, difficult in communications or anticipate um, a delay in when the other person gets back to us. But again, it's about trusting that everything will happen the way it's supposed to. And maybe the other person just needs time. And that's okay. We respect that. Okay. Uh, and on the other hand, if someone else is trying to ask for forgiveness, and make up for what they've done, the Justice card says. You know, thinking thinking in perspective um, is the resentment that we feel towards that person hurting the person or is it hurting us, okay? Um, and just deciding from there. And remember, forgiving someone doesn't mean you take them back into your life or forgiving someone doesn't mean you condone what they did. It's just a way to release and cut ties so that we can be free, so that we can lift our spirits and move into new experiences, okay? So that is our reading for today. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that it helps if you're dealing with these energies. Let me know what the cards talk about for you, okay? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say, uh, what the messages are, um, are making you think of, how they resonate with you, um, if they do. Thank you so, so much for all your support. Um, and since um, a couple of people have asked me how long I'm um, doing the specials for, since I wasn't able to work for about half of January, I will keep the specials available 
um, probably until the end of February. So you still have time to get your special price readings if you wanted to, okay? Um, and remember to, to check out your yearly um, readings. Thank you again. Let's have an absolutely beautiful day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.